Okay, so we, we talked a little bit about after after watching the video. Um, shit, it's fucking sick. That's okay. <laughs> how McLean is having a tendency of, of really swinging from his back foot. And uh, the, the, a big part of that issue to me is the fact that he, he does have a bad left knee. Um, a left knee issue that uh, has been bothering you now for quite some time. A couple months, yeah. As a result of, of a lot of downhill skiing as, as a young man. Um, it has started to get better, but the accommodation for that left knee has left him swinging really from from his back foot and coming up out of the shot. So the the resulting club path is one that comes over the top and the miss that he gets being high right is a function of him actually um, having with particularly with his driver uh, an angle of attack that is way too high so he's actually catching the ball too much on the upswing and uh, and the club face is, is wide open so um, in your mind McLean let's just talk about what needs to change with with your actual swing in order to make this happen so when we watched the video we saw you coming up out of your shots yep. it was something that looked like this yep right yep okay so in order to bring the trajectory down like you want what what in your mind are the kinds of things that, that we need to do with with the club and with your body to bring the trajectory down any ideas um basically stay in it more on my left knee okay um not sort of bail out to that right knee and flick mm -hmm. the hands you know yeah. stay more in it with my whole body sure. utilize that left knee a little bit more yeah and um, kind of take my hands a little bit better to the target not bail out yeah really. okay awesome so i think that when we start to hit a couple balls here um, we're going to see the trajectory come down immediately and we're going to use a really simple drill to help you stay in the shot so the whole the whole idea here is that what you're doing is is this yeah and what we want is this correct where your spine angle is remaining consistent through the swing and you're able to compress the ball down into the ground instead of getting the, the high shot the high spinning shot yeah. right correct so very simple drill we're going to use this T as a reference point for your swing so I want you to make a couple of practice swings here and we're going to imagine that the ball is right here probably seven or eight inches behind that tee but your goal is to still hit that tee on your swing through okay. so what's that going to force you to do stay in it forces you to stay down through the shot yeah. right you don't to, to hit that tee you don't have a choice to come up out of it you're going to miss it every time yep. okay so go ahead and give it a try I want you to set up so that the ball's right back there. Okay. Nice job. Try it again. Does that how does that feel different to you? It feels uh my weight transfer to my left foot feels a lot better. It feels better. Like better how? More efficient. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not relying on the hands to do all the work. It feels like I have my whole body into the, the whole body is everything's going into the ball as opposed to, you know, kind of generating as much club head speed as I can and just trying to use speed to get distance instead of you know my body. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So let's try a couple more. Okay, so I see the bottom of your swing arc moving out here mm -hmm. as opposed to being back here right at the ball. Yeah. So I think that's really going to help you with the consistency in your ball striking that you're looking for. Cool. Okay. So let's try to hit a couple shots. I'm going to leave the tee there for now because 
when we work on this, I don't particularly care where the ball goes. The whole idea is that that's still where our, our swing bottom is. Okay. okay, we're still chasing that tee. Okay. And just remember that what we're, what we're trying to accomplish is staying down into the shot, maintaining your spine angle until the shot's gone. Okay. Okay. So the trajectory came down? Yeah, it's a little left to right still. A but little left to right? Yeah, but the next one's fine. Okay. All right. So we see that the path is still a little bit yeah. a little bit over over the top of the plane, a little bit in to out. Yeah. Or out to in, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So let's hit a, let's hit another one. Okay, so trajectory's definitely down, right? Yep. Okay. That was a really nice strike. So that one actually was lower and went right to left. Okay, so let's try it again. Move that to you just a little bit closer. Love it. So we immediately see the trajectory come down. Yeah. Right. Yep. Um, which is nice. Through through the bag, I think that this is is going to help you become a more efficient ball striker, mm -hmm. which is a very valuable thing for you, particularly in tournaments. Out here, when it gets windy, yeah, you've got to be able to, to hit the ball with a consistent trajectory. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, let's face it, there's easy ways to play this game and hard ways to play this game. Mm -hmm. And we're chasing the ones that are going to make it a lot easier. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, okay, so the, the angle of attack here is, is what, we, what we've what we identified as, as one cause of, of that miss. Mm -hmm. uh, the other part is that it looks like the path is still a little bit left. Yeah. left. Yeah. Okay. So, what's causing that? In your mind, and and I don't want to know what you're doing. I want to know what the club is doing. Um, basically, I think um, coming too steep over the top and basically swinging, still throwing the hands, but like instead of using my body, I'm you know, getting too handsy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it can get sure wayward. So I think most often when we see a uh, uh, club path that's, that's over the top of the plane line, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's coming mainly as a function of, uh, of an improper swing sequence. So let me tell you what I mean by that. So as we swing back, typically the, the lower body is what leads the swing, right? And I think that you have your your sequence a little bit a little bit off. So your shoulders are opening, yeah. which gets the club out over the plane line, and then you're swinging down. So yeah. you have great lower body action. Your swing looks really really nice. Uh, but I think what you try to do is add some synchronization between. 